Hello, lovely people of Ghana. This is the This Generation Show, proudly brought to you by HD Plus, Niche Education Support, Z Land Fan World, Rich Medical Center, and Trillium Industries. I am your girl, Jamila. And before we go on a short commercial break, I would like to introduce the motivational segment brought to you by Della. Hello, cherished viewers. It's another exciting moment to come your way with this week's edition of Health and Motivational Segment. Today's motivational quote is by Henry Ford, who said, and I quote, Anyone who stops learning is old, whether at 20 or 80. Anyone who keeps learning stays young. This simply means that you can never say you are done learning in life because everyone learns something new every day. You Remember that life in itself is always a lesson, so never stop learning. Our health tip for the week is to exercise regularly and to be physically active as parents and children. How do you achieve this? It is said that a healthy mind stays in a healthy body. There are so many diseases that can be avoided when you exercise regularly. Exercising regularly does not have to be any serious task. It's as easy as walking for about 15 to 30 minutes every day and drinking enough water. Please send in short videos of yourself doing the following activities on 0551 376 979. I believe you've learned something new and beneficial today. I go by the name Della, your health and motivational lady for the week. Please send in your thoughts, comments, and suggestions on the numbers displayed on the screen. Till you see me next time for more health and motivational tips. Keep learning, keep walking, and keep drinking water. Over to you, Jamila. Thank you, Della. That was such a beautiful quote from Della, which I learned that we learn every day. And I've learned that if you exercise every day, it will keep your body fit and strong. So let's go for a short commercial break. Stay tuned. Our football fans wanted more. And Sport TV is here on a new HD Plus channel to give you football and more. See selected weekly fixtures from the EPL, Bundesliga, Serie A, Saudi Pro League, Spanish Super Cup, DFB Pogba, EFL, and Thank so much more in us. HD quality pictures on Sporty TV channel 152. The football you care about is here in HD. Subscribe for 12 fans at 290 Ghana cities only. Call 0242-439872 for more information. HD Plus. See it. Feel it. Feel it. Life can get hectic. And sometimes we forget to prioritize our well-being. That's where Verno Mineral Water steps in. A refreshing solution packed with essential minerals, Verna Mineral Water keeps you hydrated and balanced. Whether you are at home or work, Verna Mineral Water is there to keep you going. Don't let a busy shuttle hinder your health. Make Verna Mineral Water a part of your daily routine. Share the love with Vernon Mineral Water, the toys for a healthy, vibrant you. This advert is FDA approved. Are you looking for a playground to have fun with your kids? Then look no further than Zealand Fun Road with our state-of-the-art play kits like trampolines, bouncy castles, video games, arcade games and many more. We make your child's day. We also have the perfect place to celebrate your child's birthday party and watch movies. We are open throughout the whole week and on holidays. Contact us on 28 Individual, schools, children, organizations. Come and have fun with Sealand Fun World. And remember that all work and no play makes Jack a dull boy. Sealand Fun World, the right place for kids to have fun. Welcome back from the short break. If you just tuned in, this is the This Generation Show. We are going to get our practical life segments from Jay Hidden. Thank you, our lovely host. And today's practical segment is going to be about how to stop the spread of cold and flu. 
And did you know that flu comes from the word influenza? The symptoms of cold and flu are similar. And the symptoms are a running nose or a stuff nose, feverish, headache and body aches. Cold and flu can be differentiated. The viruses of cold are the rhinos virus and the seasonal coronaviruses. And to prevent the spread of cold and flu, you can sneeze in your elbow or use your handkerchief and sneeze into it. But I rather prefer the tissue because the tissue, when you sneeze into it, you can dispose of it. Suppose you wash your hands after going after going into any public place. To wash your hand, you need a bowl of water with your soap. But luckily, but luckily for us, we already have our soap in our water. And we have our sanitizer, handkerchief and tissue and nose marks near us. And to wash your hands, put your hand in the water and wash the back and wash the back of your hands and in between your fingers. And and if unfortunately you don't have water, you can use your hand sanitizer. And then you rub it. And to keep the virus from spreading, you have to stay away from crowded places. And parents, please, if your child has the cold or the flu severely, please let them stay at the house or take them to a hospital. Thank you. Our football fans wanted more and Sporty TV is here on a new HD Plus channel to give you football and more. See selected weekly fixtures from the EPL, Bundesliga, Serie A, Saudi Pro League, Spanish Super Cup, DFB Poker, EFL and so much more in HD quality pictures on Sporty TV channel 152. The football you care about is here in HD. Subscribe for 12 fans at 290 Ghana cities only. Call 0242439872 for more information. HD Plus. See it feely feely. Santa Claus. It's Christmas and Santa Claus is in town to have fun with you. It's going to be entertaining, a memorable one, and full of surprises. You can't afford to miss out this time. Yes, it's a family fun time with Santa. Happening on the 26th December 2023 at Zealand Fun World. Activities include face painting, movie show, Xbox challenge, dancing, photo shoots with Santa, and your favorite cartoon characters, and many more. Rate is a cool 60 Ghana cities for children and free entry for adults. Contact 0240-695086 or 0289-71162 for more details. Come let's have fun on the 26th of December at the Zealand Fan World inside of the Legon City Mall. So it's a milk cream wafer deliciously made by us, Macberry. This wafer has got rich ingredients in the layers of tenderly melting milk cream filling. So crispy and attractively packaged. The taste is such a pure delight and so we named it Pure Delight. Coffee. Coffee. Let's go, honey. You are running late for school. Enjoy it in chocolate, strawberry, and milk flavors. Pure Delight Wafers. Every bite is such a delight. Santa Claus. It's Christmas, and Santa Claus is in town to have fun with you. It's going to be entertaining, a memorable one and full of surprises. You can't afford to miss out this time. Yes, it's a family fun time with Santa, happening on the 26th December 2023 at Zealand Fun World. Activities include face painting, movie show, Xbox challenge, dancing, photo shoots with Santa, and your favorite cartoon characters, and many more. 
Wait is a cool 60 Ghana cities for children and free entry for adults. Contact 0240 or 0289-71162 for more details. Come let's have fun on the 26th of December at the Zealand Fan World inside of the Lagos City Mall. Bigo! 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 If you want a soft drink, it's Bigo! 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 Pass me one look at Bigo! 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 Ah, the price to be cool, yo! Bigo! Bigo! Wait! 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 So we're drinking at the party! Bigo! 20 in a package! Bigo! Refresh your soft drink and affordable! Pretty one big family! lovely people of Ghana welcome back from that break I'm still your host Jamila Kasim so this is the G talk segment and today we are going to discuss about how how shouting at children affects them psychologically and emotionally so here with me I have some two beautiful ladies who are going to help us dive deeper into this topic so my guest introduce yourself my name is Adeline Amalia, and I am your guest for today's Jay Talk. Hello, lovely viewers. My name is Michelle Tre, and I am your guest for today. Okay, so Adelaide, what do you think about shouting on children? Shouting on children can disturb children. Or if, some, if the child is doing something, it can disturb or distract the child. That brings things to the child. Okay, thank you. Yeah, so most of us know shouting on children as like when parents yell at them or scold them for doing something wrong. But I think it's a form of discipline, but it also has a negative impact. On so the you think it's a form of discipline? Yes. Okay, but it has its own negative part. Yeah. Can you tell me some of the negative effects of shouting on children? Okay, so. When, let's, when your parents scold you, the hurtful words they use, they can cause depression. Okay. Yeah. And also, they can decrease your self-esteem. They can decrease your self-esteem. So what do you think I'm doing? Yes, I think what she, said, what she said is also right. Okay. That's what I also think. It can even distract you or when you go, when it's in the morning, you're going to school, then your mom scolds you. You can cry till you go to school. Go to school, you can also be disturbed. Now, when it's child, you teach you. Not you don't understand. Okay, but what do you think are some of the causes of like the year or the scolding that our parents give to us? Because you can't just be there and say, hey, I draw this, that. We do something. So, like, what are some of the things we do for our parents to yell at us? Okay. Sometimes when our parents tell us that we should put this thing here, then we do it at that moment. Then the next day, we don't put it there. Our parents yell at us that whatever that they say, we don't want to mind. Sometimes, even if they are talking to you, then you look at them with uh, an eye. They become angry and start talking in how to. Okay, I hear. Yeah, so... Like, I say if the person is um, not disciplined, because if you are disciplined, parents don't like, yell at you that much. Like, if you don't do something you are supposed to do, that's why they yell at you, and mm -hmm. that's why they yell at you. Okay. okay, okay. So, what are some of the things you think that children can do so that our parents will stop scolding us? Okay, first, I'll say that they should listen attentively to their parents. And they should be disciplined and listen to whatever they say. Yeah. Okay, and you? Yeah, I think what she said is right. You think it's right? So you don't have anything to add up for? Okay, what I think is that when our parents talk, we should listen and we shouldn't be like... 
My mother likes talking. My mother likes talking. Yeah. Okay. And do that, they become angry and start scolding and yelling at us. Okay. So viewers, <coughs> we have heard a lot from our guests. Okay. So what do you like? What do you think are some of the like emotional effects shouting or scolding has on their child? Okay. Some of the emotional effects are you can become angry. You be you be tempered at once. Then you can start talking the other way. Oh, like yeah. I'm trying to say, like the effect, the effect. emotional effect it has on the child. Okay, you can become angry that you will not eat the food your mom gives to you because I know children who are like that. Who are like that? Okay. Yeah, uh, yeah I'll say that the uh, the pressure and uh, they'll be really high tempered. So high tempered, yeah, or quick tempered. Yeah, they'll really be angry at their parents, and uh, maybe they can even start throwing things at their parents. So. Okay, so Amadou, do you think that's the only emotional effect all this has on children? I think, okay, I have one that maybe that when you scold your child, your child can just get out and start doing all sorts of things that the child don't have to do, like using drugs and influenced by peers. Okay, so what do you think will be the alternative? What do you think will be the alternative? Of shouting, like instead of shouting, what should parents do? Okay, instead of shouting, you can take your child and let your child sit by you. You talk to your child politely, and you tell your child to listen attentively to you. Else, your child, else you can, the the child cannot grow or that to be a good citizen. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Like what she said, I'll say that they should. Um, like do counseling and guidance for their children okay. and as a form of discipline they should maybe let's say be depriving them of their gifts and toys you think that like the deprivation of gifts can also do instead of yeah because you know children like let's say your mother will say do this and i'll buy this for you so like if you say you don't buy this for them like don't have the uh, mindset to do everything you tell them. Not so other get... children. Okay, no. so I'm ready. Do you agree with her? No, not other children. When you tell them that you buy it for them, they tell you that they don't believe you. Okay. Yeah, okay. So they know. Okay. So you think that if they deprive um, them from their gifts, it will make them straight or stable? Or, okay. So um, that's what you think will be the alternative here okay yes i get what you're saying because that's not always the matter some children who are also like yeah they're also rebe uh, rebellious so, okay. yeah all that so since you said some children are rebellious what do you think parents who have rebellious children can do okay um rebellious children okay i'll say that like okay they should take them to like guidance and counseling meetings they should like let them go out for sports and other things to help them like to cool their temper and mm -hmm. those things yeah okay viewers we have heard it all as amrado said we should come down uh, pay our uh, our edge parents to come down with their kids and then they should be able to have that interaction or bond with their kids so that whenever the children go wrong they can correct them and as our lady here said, we should the parents should be able to hang out with their children, go to sporty places, to interact with them, to actually know what is going wrong with them so that they can correct them instead of shouting and yelling at them, which can cause them to be timid and very, very shy. Let's go for the scholar's corner from Christiana. Thank Hello everyone and welcome to Scholar's Corner with me, your girl, Christiana. And you know the Scholar's Corner is all about educating ourselves and having a little fun. Today our subject is English language and we are going to learn about punctuations. When I say punctuations, what do I mean by punctuations? Punctuations are one of the many parts of English speech. And as we go deeper, we will learn how they are used and how they can even change the meaning of a sentence. 
some types of punctuations that we should know as children in school are full stop or period, exclamation mark, question mark, ellipsis, parenthesis, and many more. The first punctuation we are going to look at is the full stop. The full stop or period is one of the most commonly used punctuations in English language. And this is because it is used to end the sentence for us to know that this is where we are supposed to stop reading or writing. And it is also used after an abbreviation to let us know that, okay, this word is an abbreviation and we must mention it like this. For example, ASAP. It simply means as soon as possible. And then after each letter, there is a full stop or a period to let us know that it's an abbreviation. The next punctuation we are going to look at is the question mark. This is also one of the most commonly used punctuations in English language. And it is used after a question. For example, who does this jacket belong to? Question mark. It is used to find out what something belongs to or the owner of something. Or the owner of something. From here on, we are going to move on to one of the most least common types of punctuations, which are brackets. Brackets are used to differentiate between a sentence and something you want the reader or the speaker to know about when you are talking or interacting with somebody in English language. From here on, we are going to ask my lovely guest, he said here, what they learned and their opinions on what I've said. So, what have you learned so far? Oh, today I've learned a lot. And one thing I've learned is the use of full stop. In the sense that full stop can also be used in abbreviations, like after every initial to like know that there are other words there. Okay, thank you. What about you, that lady? I have learned that we have some types of foundations. And what I learned are the like the full stop, the comma, and the question mark. Okay. Thank you, Adelaide. And Michelle, so what are some of the types of punctuations that I mentioned? Uh, okay. So I had you mention the um, full stop, the question mark, the comma. <laughs> okay, the rest of the paragraph about. Um, I learned that the question mark is uh, is used at the end of the sentence to like, emphasize that you have a question. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Thank you, my lovely guests, for sharing with me whatever you have learned today. And this is all I have for you to the scholar scholar today. And from here, we are going to move on back to Jamila. Okay. Thank you very much, Christiana, for the lovely information given unto us. I hope this will help us correct our English errors. We'll go on a short commercial break. We'll be right back. Stay tuned. Our football fans wanted more. And Sporty TV is here on a new HD Plus channel to give you football and more. See selected weekly fixtures from the EPL, Bundesliga, Serie A, Saudi Pro League, Spanish Super Cup, DFB Poker, EFL, and Thank so much more in HD quality pictures on Sporty TV channel 152. The football you care about is here in HD. Subscribe for 12 fans at 290 Ghana cities only. Call 0242-439872 for more information. HD Plus. See it. Feel it. Feel it. Life can get hectic. And sometimes we forget to prioritize our well-being. That's where Venom Mineral Water steps in. A refreshing solution packed with essential minerals, Bena Mineral Water keeps you hydrated and balanced. Whether you are at home or work, Bena Mineral Water is there to keep you going. Don't let a busy schedule hinder your health. Make Bena Mineral Water a part of your daily routine. Share the love with Venom Mineral Water, the choice for a healthy, vibrant you. This advert is FDA approved. Santa Claus. It's Christmas and Santa Claus is in town to have fun with you. It's going to be entertaining, a memorable one and full of surprises. You can't afford to miss out this time. Yes, it's a family fun time with Santa. Happening on the 26th December 2023 at Zealand Fun World. Activities include face painting, movie show, Xbox challenge, dancing, 
photo shoots with Santa and your favorite cartoon characters and many more. Rate is a cool 60 Ghana cities for children and free entry for adults. Contact 0240 or 0289711162 for more details. Come let's have fun on the 26th of December at the Zealand Fan World inside of the Lagos City Mall. Yeah, fam, open your photo. Me do a cash in out. Me cash in out like that song. Hey, yeah, me tell me be there. Say, you can cash in out. You can't Me can't move. Original cashew nut farmer. No, no, no. Me do this. What about me do what? Me wa dia sun kubi. Mami si mami. Me biscuit sun kubi. Me first I will try be. Abuse again. How dare the papa? I can see the test of cash in out. Where the amati and the beer? I na dia dia. Me tell me the kuwong. Your friend of blessed cashew nut biscuit. Ghana kuya food ni na cashew amudiya. Enu na my berry biscuit. Edi ya blessed cashew nut biscuit. Edi angasa. Now introducing blessed choco chips. Biscuit sukwa beviasi. Amu ni miya cashew nut. Ena ye. Ena tibini. Ena bless me. Tutu kuma tutu kuma suna bless me. My berry blessed cashew cookies. Real cashew biscuits. Edi ye aji eja bi encatcho ya tum. Are you looking for a playground to have fun with your kids? Then look no further than Zealand Fun Road with our state-of-the-art play kits like trampolines, bouncy castles, video games, arcade games and many more We really make your child's day. We also have the perfect place to celebrate your child's birthday party and watch movies. We are open throughout the whole week and on holidays. Contact us on 28 Nine seven one 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 six two. Individual schools, children organizations. Come and have fun with Sealand Fun World, and remember that all work and no play makes Jack a dull boy. Sealand Fun World, the right place for kids to have fun. Welcome back from the break. If you just tuned in, you are still watching this generation show. I would like to say a big thank you to our our sponsors, the HD Plus Decoder. The Philly Philly Experience, Niche Education Support, Zealand Fan World, Rich Medical Center, and Trillium Industries. Thank you, my guests, for making this show a wonderful success. So, until you see me on your screen, it's still Jamila Castillo.